IELTS essay writing for 2023. In this video I'm going to update you with the current types of questions that are in the IELTS writing test and the way that you can structure your response and respond to the task instructions. I'm going to be introducing six different types of essay questions that represent just about all of them and so I'm going to be showing you how you can structure the response of your essay effectively to get a high score for task response and also cohesion and coherence. My experience as an examiner and also as an IELTS tutor I've literally assessed over 10,000 essays. Now what this does is give me a very good overall perspective of the writing test and some of the issues that students have when they take their test. So back on to essay writing I'm going to show you six types of questions that you're likely to come across in your test. As I said I want to teach you how to structure them because this is going to boost your score for cohesion and coherence. One of the big aspects is the overall structure of your essay so I'm going to be giving you effective overall structures and also I'm going to be showing you how you can respond to these questions so that you can get a high score for task response. For my mind the easiest two criteria to boost your score are task response and cohesion and coherence and the reason for this is because with some expert guidance you can learn how to respond to questions and how to structure your essays relatively quickly. Now compare that to vocabulary and grammar that takes a long time to build you can't easily jump up half a point one band for those categories but for a lot of students it's relatively easy with, with some level of hard work to boost up your score half a band maybe even a whole band maybe even two bands if you're using uh, an, an effective way of structuring your essays. So what I've done is I've boiled this whole thing down to six different types of essays and I'm going to be introducing you to all six types of essays. Let me just show you sort of quickly some of the similarities of these six types of essays and, and if you've watched some of my previous material normally I break the essays down into three different types of essays so in this one I'm going to be breaking it down to six so the first two are what I normally refer to as opinion essays these are essays that ask you for your opinion and if, if you want to know the sort of questions with these um, that there are questions like um, do you agree or disagree? To what extent do you agree? What is your opinion? All of these can be covered with this first structure. Then there's another kind of opinion essay that requires a different structure and this is the outweigh essays and the common question words here are something like do the advantages outweigh the disadvantages? Or how far do the advantages outweigh the disadvantages? Or, or even to what extent do the advantages outweigh the disadvantages? Or instead of advantages and disadvantages it could be something about positives and negatives, right? Um, the, the big distinction between these two types is that the first kind you can select to just totally agree and totally disagree whereas with the second kind I, th I think it's important to cover both sides of the argument and then of course to highlight which side you support more strongly. The next two number three and four are what I call two question essays they involve two questions these are sometimes thought of as problem and solution essays or cause and solution essay um, but for me it's any question that or I should say any task instructions that re require you to respond to two different questions um, so the questions could be problem and solution or they could be 
other things it, it, it could be advantages and disadvantages what what are the advantages what are the disadvantages um, and then there's also a special kind where one of the questions is your opinion and that's why I separate these into two right and in, in the past I've just dealt with these kinds of essays um, all the same um, I've just called it a two question essay but what I've done now is just break it down a little bit further so that some of the uh, subtle nuances in the structure and in the way that you respond are better responded to in the essay that you're going to write. Now the last two types of essays I've called in the past um, two sides and opinion essays or both sides and opinion essays and what they both involve is uh, kind of two sides to a topic and also giving your own opinion and again there's a slight distinction between the two in the first kind the advantage disadvantage and opinion essays you're going to be presenting the advantages and disadvantages along with your opinion whereas with the other kind the both sides and opinion essays there's you're you're actually going to be covering two groups of two two different groups of people's opinions so we've got uh, some people that believe one thing and some other people that believe another and so we we have to be careful in the way that we respond that we're not just talking about advantages and disadvantages but we're actually presenting the groups of one set of people and of another set of people and then of course we have to give our opinion as well now the purpose of this video is really just to kind of set the scene and give you an overall idea of what the different types of questions that you're going to experience are and also this idea of six different um, structures that are needed in in order to respond to them now in, in order to give complete instruction of all of these six kinds of essays I actually need quite a lot of time and I don't want to put it all into one video so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, release three more videos um, one for the first two questions that are opinion questions another one for the two question essays and then a third one to cover the to cover the both sides and opinion essays so what I'm hoping is that you're going to subscribe to me and follow these subsequent videos and the other thing that you can do is do some reading to, to support your learning I'm going to release a PDF file for this document that you're seeing on the screen and you can download that I'm going to put a link in the description below uh, to this video if, if you're watching on YouTube and then if you're watching on Facebook I'll put it in the comments um, below the video if I can't get it into the details because I, I want to upload this to YouTube and Facebook and maybe I can just show you a little bit about what's in this document to so that you can see whether it's something you want to download um, and also to see whether you want to follow these subsequent videos that I'm going to be releasing so let's have a little bit more of a look into the document now then so as I said there's six kinds of essays and and if you know my past materials these are both opinion essays these are two question essays and these are two side and opinion and opinion essays and we need different structures for each of them each one has its own sort of subtle nuance and then some of them share similar characteristics so let's let's have a look inside what we've got and, and by the way there's a clickable menu on this so I can just click and I can go and I can see what it is what what an agree disagree essay is and, and essentially I call it that because you can totally agree and totally disagree and if you're trying to get to band 7 or below maybe you, you, if you don't need 8 or 9 then I advise just totally agreeing or totally disagreeing I'll, I'll go into that in a bit more I think in the video that I'm going to make 
um, about these opinion essays. Um, the the other so all right, I've I've got some sort of planning ideas here um, so that you can learn how to plan your ideas, plan your essays as well, um, and and I go through the steps of planning essays as well. Uh, we'll we'll look at that more in more detail later. Um, and okay, he, here's the way that this document works. Right, I've got six different types of questions. For each one, I'm presenting a model answer. Right, there was a bit of planning before too, for the, especially for this first one. I've I've given you some ideas about what you might do before you start writing. But then my my general structure is to give you some task instructions with the question type, and then a model essay that you can read and the idea is for you to actively read this and kind of learn how to respond to this type of question and how to structure your essay for instance how do we structure the introduction for every essay not just this one uh, we're going to start by paraphrasing the the topic it's, it's always useful to think of tasks as having two parts to them there's the topic and this one is about um, working from home instead of going for an o to an office and, and then we have the question words and here it's to what extent do you agree or disagree and as I've said with this type of question we could totally agree or totally disagree um, you can see my two main ideas I'm, I'm going to agree and these are my two reasons why I think it's better to work from home um, it saves time and it increases our productivity. So the first sentence of our essay is always to paraphrase the topic and the second one is to introduce what the essay is about. In this case I tell the reader what my opinion is, totally agree, and then I give a couple of the reasons. Saves time and increases productivity. Um, then we need a topic sentence which includes the main idea, development of the main idea, then on to the second one. And then every essay I start with in conclusion. And for this one, I'm going to restate my opinion, summarize the reasons why, and then for band eight writers, a, a, a kind of final statement um, based on the summary of the essay. So there's a model answer for you to analyze and then what I do after that is I give you another topic but the same question type or roughly the same question type. Do you agree or disagree is basically the same question as to what extent do you agree or disagree. You can respond to it in the same way. Now if you want to I have a writing correction service and if you want to you could send me your essay and I can check it and in this case we're using a learning approach as follows uh, basically you're reading a model answer to see how to respond to a certain type of question and to, to kind of uh, maybe actively read it to try and understand the structure and the response and then you can write a homework task to check your understanding now this is a really powerful way to learn right and then I give you feedback and this feedback can let you know whether you've understood it correctly or not and also I can look at other aspects of your essay uh, such as the vocabulary and grammar and give you a, a band score an estimate of what sort of score you would get in your essay if you wrote this, if the task instructions were like this and, and you wrote an essay like this. So it's a really powerful way to uh, learn. It's, it's basically read to learn, uh, write to check and then get feedback so that you can uh, make adjustments to the way that you're writing. So after you've got your feedback you're also welcome to ask me questions. There, there might be comments that I've made on your essay that you don't really understand. Maybe you thought the conclusion should be written a certain way, but I've told you that the way you're doing it's not right. And you might have questions, and in that case, you're welcome to send me your questions 
perhaps through email so that I can respond to them that way or uh, sometimes even after you've written a few essays if, if questions are kind of building up and maybe um, you kind of feel that uh, you, you're a little unsure about certain aspects of the process then I can organize a uh, 30 minute or one hour online one-to-one -one session and we can go through some of those questions and issues so I can provide a lot of support for you in this process of preparing for the writing test okay and then let's say task one's gone well uh, you've done it well you feel comfortable now that you can write this type of essay the next step is to move on to the next type of essay in this case it's the outweigh essays and you can see a typical question on your screen now do you think the advantages outweigh the disadvantages of working from home no, notice how I've kind of repeated the topic I'm doing that on purpose in this document what I want to do is keep the topic basically the same but vary the question types because I'm I'm trying to get you to focus on the question types and how to structure your essays and respond to each of the question types something you'll notice with this one in comparison to the other one is that um, now we've got three main ideas whereas the last one had two we're going to have two reasons or two advantages and one disadvantage and now we have a mathematical outweigh right mathematically the advantages outweigh the disadvantages and that's going to be my opinion that the merits surpass the drawbacks now something that they have in common the the first two types of opinion essays is that both of them have uh, one idea per paragraph and that idea is in the topic sentence for the paragraph right so one idea per paragraph the topic sentence in the paragraph I'll just show you a quick comparison with some of the other essay types which I think is kind of fascinating so something I'm going to be emphasizing in some of the later videos is that for essay number one we have two main ideas for essay number two the outweigh essay we have three ideas and then for all the other kinds of essays we can have four ideas in there and, and another way to kind of separate them too is the first two essays we're going to have one main idea per paragraph and that one main idea being articulated in the first sentence in the topic sentence of each body paragraph and then when we get on to the rest essays three to six we're actually going to have two ideas per body paragraph and now instead of the first idea coming in the first sentence of the paragraph we're going to have a more general topic sentence let me show you that real quick and then I think probably end this video and then I'm going to start preparing the subsequent videos in this series so as I said with the outweigh essays the first sentence has the main idea in it and then it gets developed throughout the paragraph however when we get on to the other kinds of essays um, the first sentence is going to be what I call a general topic sentence so it just generally introduces what the paragraph is about but it doesn't give the specific points so with the same topic you can see there are two main reasons why more people are choosing to work from their homes and then what I do is introduce the first idea the first of these is that the work mode is more flexible right so the, the first advantage is flexible then I develop this and you can develop your ideas by explaining them and by giving examples then I use a linking word furthermore and then I introduce my second idea it saves time and then I develop this idea so we've got um, two different paragraph structures we've with the opinion essays we've got one idea per paragraph and that one idea is in the topic sentence then with all the other kinds of essays we've got two ideas per paragraph and we've got a general topic sentence now if you can learn some of these things this is going to give a great boost 
to your cohesion and coherence it's going to be so much easier for the examiner to understand what it is that you're trying to communicate this is going to have positive influences for all four of the back of the grading criteria the score for cohesion and coherence is going to go up because it's easy to read your writing all right so just to close i want to give you a couple of suggestions first of all download this pdf document so that you have these six types of structures and at the very least you can uh, read about the six different types of structures and know about these six types of structures before you go into your test subscribe to me and if you subscribe to me you're going to see the videos that I'm releasing about these six different types of essays the videos are going to go into more depth you can read through the models and you can maybe get some understanding but what I'm going to do in the videos is explain the thinking behind the structures of the essay so how to structure these essays effectively and ex also explaining why I've structured the, the essays this way it's almost a bit like uh, reverse engineering right I'm going to explain the structures uh, explain the introductions the topic sentences the way that I'm developing ideas and then the way that I conclude the essays so downloading and reading the PDF is the best half hour you could spend uh, but I think the next most valuable thing you could do is watch the videos and then finally if if you have a little bit of budget and you want to actually send me some of your writing tasks to assess for band score and give feedback on mistakes and improvements that you could make to get your score higher I'll also put a link in the description about my writing correction service your questions are extremely important to me and if you've got a question please put it in the comments below this video and uh, I'll be sure to respond to you uh, give me a day or two and uh, I'll be responding to your question because I think that's important oftentimes I don't know what kind of problems or uncertainty people have so if they write it in the comments section I'm able to clear that up for that student and also it might be of benefit to other students often sometimes asks sorry often somebody asks a really good question and others can benefit from that question and answer all right so make sure you hit the subscribe button if you liked the video you could click on like uh, i would appreciate that and i look forward to seeing you in the next video